Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest, newest, newest. Atari 2600 and 7800 games. Today, we have the exclusive premiere of Nuts in Darcy's Mouth. <laughs> <laughs> of the Just remember what happens to Nuts in My Mouth before you get any ideas. <laughs> hey, uh, we have the exclusive update to Ruby Q, which is a port of Qbert, the arcade game, and boy is it good. Oh my god, it's amazing. Uh, it is really, really awesome. You guys will love it. Atari will love it. Um, I want to thank everybody who has showed up to the show and all the Twitch subscribers scrolling down the side there. 8 Bit Swami, Al in the Fur, Armscar Coder, Atari Age, Azura 6502, BR Pocock, Buck Owens, Caffeman 2D, Charles and Chuck, Charles Wheel, and Shive 574. Coconut 81, Dianoid, Dale and Drew Darling, Dan EVC, Drexel, Dr. Moo Cows, Emu Dan, Fat Beavis, Great Offender, Gradams, Ground Trooper, I supposed to Jedi Kai, Johnny WC, One Year Older, Carl Drew, Kev Kelly, Croco, 2600, Mars Space Inc., Metal Atari, Mike Soul, Miss Command, Mem K. Smith, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strum, Nostalgic, Nyan Dare, Pack Rat, VG Kog, RC70, Prentless, VG, Ricardo Pimp, Six Sweets, Smitty B, Socrates, Spice Rare, Samir, The D Train, The Wash Man, Tiki Dan K, Timothy Lampier, TM events, Trek MD, and X Ken X. And if that sounds like a lot, it's because RC70 donated a ton of subscribers last mm. show. It's awesome. If you want your name, who's watching the store? Nobody. It's a free for all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you never know what's going on there. I don't even have any webcam set up. That's not true. I do have webcam set up. <laughs> Devious. And thank and you. And I can even access some of them right now. Oh. Thank you, Ground, Tri <laughs> Ground Trooper, for resubscribing. 34 months! Can you believe the show has been even broadcasting that long? That's crazy. 19-month streak. Um, if you want your name on that list, just uh, subscribe. And it's free if you have uh, Amazon Prime. You can link it to your Twitch Prime. Or you can just follow us, and you'll be alerted when the shows come on like this. At noon, with Darcy. Um, the list gets longer. Yeah, it's the longest it's ever been. And it's pretty awesome. Um, not much news or mail today, except for one thing, which we're not going to talk about, unfortunately. But I'm going to show very briefly. The RetroTINK 5X Pro arrived yesterday. Uh, what is this, an upscaler? We like, have those in like our yard. Like the Frame Meister? Rabbits? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like the Frame Meister? Hey, hey, hey. Um, <laughs> and, uh, it's misbehaving with the Atari 2600. Mm. So I don't really want to show it till I figured that out. It could be best described as, uh, <laughs> not usable. Um, so, uh, we won't be looking at that today, possibly Tuesday if I can, uh, find maybe a firmware that works well with it the one that shipped with it was just shaky on one tiny part at the bottom and then i went oh well it's got it shipped with a super old firmware i'll update the firmware uh, <laughs> the whole screen shakes so i'm gonna have to uh, of course me message the uh <laughs> developer of it and uh show him <laughs> what's going on with it send him some videos because he can make profiles for each of the video game systems so he can make a 2600 profile so ah. if i go through all the other uh, firmware iterations of it and find one that is good um then i can say hey this one was good and now it's bad can you make a profile for 2600 that's this one mm -hmm. um which system uh 2600 rgb that's the one that is misbehaving. 7800 works fine with the S video <laughs> works fine. The one it shipped with was black and white, but the updated one, its color works perfect. Looks really, really good. Um, even the 2600 looks pristine through it, mm. but it shakes. I mean, it looks so crisp. It just gives your eye Beautiful. a workout as you're like. Rrr, rrr. Yeah, 2600 RGB That's and also um, the uh, component was doing the exact same thing not just the rgb so it's it's the whole output from the mm. from the atari so but i will be doing some more tests with it and other systems before um showing you guys 
and then I'll run through all my systems and show you everything. Um, so that's the non-news and non-mail opening. So we're going to get right in to RubyQ. This is made by Silvio Mon Mogno. Uh, it was first posted January 4th, 2021. Uh, this build is from a couple days ago, August 17th. Uh, he has uploaded a number of, uh, or one at least, demo of two levels. Um, but that one's quite a bit older. This one is updated dramatically. Mm. He's, I think he said it's around 95% done. Uh, but very, very close. He's got a lot of it done. Um, it's a 32K CDFJ game. Other games he's made, Rainbow Invaders and Ruby Q. So this is his second game. Um, so you can download the de older demo on there. Uh, we last played this January 8th, so right after... Oh, actually, we had the... Uh, oh, thank you, Repentless VG. Subscribe for 25 months! And he hasn't broken his streak. 25-month streak. Uh, we actually had the uh, exclusive world premiere of this game when it came out. So I'm very happy to have this update as well mm -hmm. to show it off. But first, we're going back. Back in time to the arcade so we can see the progression of how uh, Qbert has happened. And so we're going to take a look at some arcade gameplay and learn a little bit about Qbert before we proceed. I do remember thinking Qbert was awesome and having no idea anything about it. <laughs> like there was a period where I I, both I thought it was awesome, but was completely ignorant. Ah, I didn't even know how it played. <laughs> it's it's actually one of the more simple games. Yeah. You, as you can see, right there. You're the orange dude, and you turn all the blocks to the color that it tells you to. And in the first level, you only have to jump on each of them once. And you turn it to that color. Very, very simple. And things are after you. Uh, Qbert is an arcade game developed and published for the North American market by Gottlieb in 1982. It's a 2D action game with puzzle, puzzle elements that uses isometric graphics to create pseudo 3D effect. Uh, is it pseudo? Yes. What would be actual 3D effect? Like, um, your two eyes would perceive two different images? Because no, games even today that, you are can, 3D. You, but they are 3D, and they've been 3D since... Because you've um, moved... You, like, around the time of Quake uh, yeah. coming out. Quake was, like, actual 3D. And the difference was substantial. Like Because it's with this, it was a 3D model. The things. models were 3D, yeah. and the world was 3D. Like, when you had Duke Nukem, it was, like... It was two-dimensional, made to look 3D. Everything was flat. Yeah. And placed in, like... The sprites were all flat. But even the world was, like, weirdly... Like it was, I don't know if the world was 3D or not. 2.5D, they were calling it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's, that's accurate. Yeah. Okay. Um, the ob objective of each level in the game is to change every cube in the pyramid to the target color by m making Qbert, the on-screen character... Hop on top of the cube while avoiding obstacles and enemies. Players use a joystick to control the character. The game is conceived by Warren Davis and Jeff Lee. Lee designed the title character and original concept. Blah, blah, blah. Cubert was developed under the project named Cubes. Um, and it's been ported to the Atari 8 bit, Atari 2600, Atari 5200, Coleco, and Television, Magnavox Odyssey 2, Commodore 64 128, Commodore Vic 20, TI 994 NES, Sega SG 1000, Mac OS, and PlayStation 3. Uh, PlayStation 3? Yeah, that's probably more like a, an arcade emulator, mm -hmm. usually when they get up to that amount of power. Um, it was also released as a tabletop game. Um, this is not the original tabletop game. This is a recent reissue of a tabletop. Let me just stop this. So this is a recent reissue of a tabletop, and um, it's actually really good, this one. So I would definitely pick this up if you're a Qbert enthusiast. I want to buy the uh, Qbert tabletop game. Which is more like this size. Mm. Um, but the Qbert one is quite expensive. Um, there is one locally, but it comes with a box. And the guy wants a lot for it. And I don't want a box. I don't care about the boxes. Because mm. the box is also trashed a bit. 
Um, and he has had it for at least seven years. <laughs> so every time I go in the store, it's like, there's the Qbert, there's the box, and there's the exact same price it was. And I'm still not going to buy it. Um, and he won't sell it without the box. Won't sell it without the box. I've already asked him. So, But it's like, once he sells it, he doesn't have it anymore. And it, like, I don't know how much he's asking for it, but it's like, it's, it's, it's like, you bit. have to have stuff. And yeah. so like, it's not just like, how quickly can I get rid of my stuff? It's like, he's not in a rush. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Um, and it's nice display piece too. So yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, love this game when it was released and still do to this day. One of my top faves, Pack Rat. Um, the original author, Warren Davis wrote a book about this and other games he made called, you can't call it. <laughs> Because that was the original marquee on the arcade cabinet. Was, was that? Was those symbols? Oh, I see. And they're like, we can't, we can't market this. That's funny. Like nobody can it's pronounce true. that. Yep. And some actually shipped with that marquee, so they're quite rare. Um, so it did come out for the Atari Twenty Six Hundred in uh, 1983. Oh, sorry, this one. Uh, 1980, I think this one, yeah, 83, under Parker, Parker Brothers released it. They were got into games, mm -hmm. um, and then later on it came out in 87, 88 under Atari. Reissued it. They're the exact same game. It absolutely plays exactly the same. Um, so they just put it on a different cartridge, and, mm -hmm. and uh, Atari put it out later, after the crash. I guess Parker Brothers got out of video games after it crashed, which is not surprising. <laughs> We're going to take a look at the 20... That's why programmers don't usually go into marketing. <laughs> yep. Um, so we're going to take a look at the 2600 version of it first. So we have a good comparison of what they did back in 83 mm -hmm. and what the game is now. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. So let's switch it over. To 600. That one! If you want to go down to today and go not that one, one more down. There we go. So, this, oh, that was loud. Sorry, RIP headphone users. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is uh, Qbert as it existed uh, on the 2600 back in 1983. And everybody, it is, it is a very good port. Uh, I'll give it that. Um, but there are some things that were lacking from the arcade. Um, so I'll let you play it. Um, now you have to keep in mind that it is a 45 degree game. So... <laughs> That's going to happen if you're not careful. But I pulled this way and it didn't go. And then when I let go, it went jumping. There's the other no direction. diagonals. They programmed mean? it so you have to do the oh, joystick that. that way. Or you can remap your brain to... Thinking a bit differently. So, yeah. down is down and to the left. Right is right and to the, to the right. Down and to the right. Um, I, I always wondered if it could be reprogrammed with diagonals so that you down and left goes down and left. Left does nothing, right does nothing, up does nothing, and down does nothing. But if you go down and to the left, it'll actually go down and to the left. Oh, RC70 got the Bratwurst controllers on Wednesday. They are fantastic. Yes, they are. Best joysticks for the 2600, in my opinion. Um, so... One problem with this version that I find is the enemies move like they're in one of those tabletop games. They go, blip, blip. They don't move. They just appear mm -hmm. over and over. Like there's no animation to them. Yeah, yeah. Um, which is, you know, okay, but you have no indication of which direction they're going until they appear there. So you can't really anticipate. So you have to just wait till they move. Now oh, you're getting your head around it. That's good. Well, I saw that video. I don't even recall that there were discs from like what I knew of it before. I didn't oh. know that mechanic at all. Yeah, those are <laughs> those are like escape 
power pellets, if you want to relate it to Pac-Man. Oh, you're getting the hang of it, good. That's why I did this game on this day. Tanya cannot wrap her brain around the 45 degree angle, so she absolutely hates Qbert. Oh, but I did it by doing what you did and turning the joystick sideways, and I have not wrapped my head around it. <laughs> well, you haven't been jumping off the edge. That's good. <laughs> um, so the, one of the problems is the enemies move like they're on a tabletop VFD game. Um, there's a number of enemies missing from this game. You can jump on the green guys. They, oh. they do. They're good to jump on. Um, it's missing Wrong Way and Ugg, who rock on the sides of the cubes. It's like an MC Escher kind of a painting. <laughs> so they go on the sides of the cubes, which, which you know, would be nice ah. to have. Ah. Nice to have in there, but there's not in there. I assumed it was going to go for me. Which apparently is not, yeah, not always, how it works. No. Um, and also, the cubes have a large separation down the middle. You can see there's a um, big gap, like there's been an earthquake. Yeah. Carl G says that's a good idea for an easy hack. That's what I thought. Just change the, the joystick direction, change the joystick input, and see if it would actually work. So um, hopefully Silvio would might be able to do that if he's got room left in his ROM. To have like a, another option to have 90 degrees or 45 degrees as a hack. I wonder if somebody's actually hacked this game to have that. Uh -oh. oh, off the edge tree. <laughs> it um, is funny that you can jump off, honestly. <laughs> okay. It is funny. <laughs> but it's a danger. The danger always lurking. It's like. Uh, Third-party licensing. Atari should have done that before 1984. Yeah, they should have. Okay, so let's get to the new game. I feel like they appeared right where I was. They appear on the top two. So you want to kind of cover those off immediately, the top two uh, squares. The top square is actually completely safe, safe until the snake comes back up. It's a snake. Oh, it's a snake. Oh, it's a snake. Okay. Time for the premiere of the new version. I always forget the name because it's kind of weird. Uh, Ruby Q. Ruby Q. Ruby Q. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Do it. Comes Qbert riding on an Atari. I was just gonna say. Nice. Uh oh, switch out. Oh, this platform fell. <laughs> Look at this gorgeous, mm -hmm. gorgeous menu screen. So it tells you all the different characters uh, in the game. It's got a. Uh, high score screen. It's got his uh, initials at the bottom. And a nice uh, flashing title screen at the top. Thanks to Albert, I suppose to Spicewear, CD W, Omega Matrix, ZPH, Stephen A. Ah! I missed it. I'll have to go through one more. Uh, You're such a slow reader of things. Green Paul. <laughs> Healthy, Gobbly, Icy, Stormy. Oiber? Oiber? <laughs> Name, Silvio Mog, level, mode, easy class, easy class, easy class, easy class, easy class. So we'll learn about that. Uh, coding, Silvio Mongo font, CD-W, native code, collects three, demo by Spiceware, testing, none yet. Uh, <laughs> Champ games, that's the one we missed there. Okay, so let's go to the menu <clears throat> system. So there's uh, one player or two players. And we'll stick with one player for now. It's classic mode, funky mode, mad mode. Mad. Oh, no, it kicks you out of the menu. There we go. So those are the three modes. So we'll go classic for now. Easy play, normal play, hard play, hardest play, turbo play! <laughs> <laughs> turbo plays beyond hardest. Scanline so graphics? Black, black graphics? Black graphics. Classic graphics. So we'll stick with the scan line. And best, 10,000, last, zero. So it's got a I really... can't change the jump to something else. No, you can only jump. People said 
Wow, nice, it's pretty, holy cow. Yeah, that's what I thought when I first saw it. Now don't start yet actually. Look at the characters at the top as they fall through. They don't, they actually overlap the graphics. It would be much, much easier for them to not overlap the graphics at the top. Um, when it gets back to it. There. Mm. It actually falls through mm -hmm. the Ruby Q and yeah, yeah, starring. Yeah, cool. And those are, that's not easy to do, <laughs> actually, uh, because it's all made of player graphics, the whole top. So that is unbelievable. Turbo play sounds like it would be fun to watch, at least. <laughs> yeah, we'll get there. Okay, so we're all good. Let's do it. <laughs> it's a good start. Um, so, as you see, it's much faster. The, th the enemies animate like they're supposed to. Yeah. It's got the full cubes because it's uh, using flicker to do back and forth. Um, it's got rid of the crack down the middle. And off he goes. I don't even know how that happened. <laughs> Blame the controller. It's not me. It's not Darcy. Damn controller. Damn Bratwurst controllers. <laughs> Wonderful animations. Yeah, really, really smooth. Amazing, yeah. Yes. It's it's beautiful. Not only are they smooth, the movement, uh -oh. but the hopping has animation too. All of the enemies have like squishy animation. Get to insert your name. And a very, very nice uh, way to, oh, you can do diagonals too. A way of putting in the name. It's got a nice grid, so it's really, really fast. Oh, there you go. You're in the top 10. Okay, so let's read about this. Will this work on a Retron 77? Yes. Not the cartridge, but if you put it on, you know, the SD card, because the cartridge port is totally useless. Get that dude. Got him. He's mucking up my business. He was. He does muck up your business. Um, yeah, the Retron 77 uh, runs CDFJ games, no problem. Um, so, here's the latest uh, full version of my game. Note, after your show, I'll release an updated demo with some limitations. Probably level limitations. Uh, main changes from the previous version. This one that we played on the show the last time in January. <laughs> Change the game and character's name to uh, Ruby Q instead of Qbert because, you know, Qbert, somebody else's name, some other game. Looks familiar to this one, but it's not this one. Nobody even knows why I, they I, both have this similar uh, gameplay. Yeah, it's, you know, because you can't copyright gameplay. That is not a thing you can do. I think some, maybe some extent you can. Um, added a splash screen, which looks super awesome. Added a full menu with these options, one or two players. Uh, nice cartridge, or would I have to download? Uh, there is a, actually, talking about cartridges, let me go to some notes that I have. On August 12th, Bomberman94 says, I hope this game will become a physical release. I would buy it and put it beside my Parker Brothers nope. Cubert. <laughs> I was so scared uh, of the red ball, I jumped off. And Albert says, that's the plan, smiley face. So it looks like there will be a physical release of Ruby Q in the near future. Uh, my sub ends in six hours, so I'll be resubbing a Monday show. Oh, thanks, Dan. Yes, ah. very nice keyboard. Nice and smooth. Love that Atari 60 FPS. Oh, yeah. Atari had 60 FPS. Steady 60 FPS way before PC did. <laughs> oh, you're eating all the nuts. Bring them over here. Bring those nuts over here. Uh, okay. There's Continuing a big bag on. upstairs. Hmm? Um, one or two player modes. We'll get to that. Uh, game mode. Classic, like the real Q-Bird. Funky, with some more enemies. Moving discs. Bonus screen, each, uh, each four normal ones. Then the mad version, like Funky, with random moving discs. Warp cubes and a new enemy. Um, so he has not only done an exceptional version of Cubert here, he has added bonus stuff that was never in Cubert. 
so we'll take a look at that. Oh, I can got the got the pattern. You have to do double, double hopping. Uh, game difficulty: easy, normal, hard, hardest, and turbo. Graphics mode: scanline, interlaced, classic, or black. Now you're gonna notice some. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Nobody needs to live forever. <laughs> nope. He, he's had enough. Off he goes. Release date? No, no release date. I mean, the game's not quite finished yet, so, I mean, that's... To get to release a game, you have to first finish it. Uh, number two, you have to have a box, if there's going to be a box. Uh, there's always a... I'm number one! Number one! DTP! Number one! Um, you have to have a manual, because all Atari Age games get released with a manual, so somebody has to write out a manual and make graphics for that manual as well. Mm -hmm. um, you have to have a label, and uh, then it all has to go into production, and so end of this year is, I would say, unlikely. Very unlikely. Um, but I would probably say next year, just based on previous things that have previous releases. Uh, yep, we'll get to the different modes in a very, very second. I would say 2022. Yeah. Is this the same speed as the arcade? Seems a bit faster, or my ah. imagination. Well, this is on easy mode, so I don't think this would be the arcade speed. Um, added high scores. Added uh, to color cube indicator, which is very handy. Added in-game pause feature with the joystick button, so if your cat wants food, you don't lose your high score play. So press the button. There you go. Pausing. That that's is awesome. Excellent. Especially for a game that's like non-stop. No, oh, bad move. <laughs> uh, uh, improved graphics and speed and fixed a lot of bugs. <laughs> hey, you used the pause feature to your I advantage. Did. It may be in the same batch of game as Penel. Mmm. Very true. I have to do some more beta testing on Penel. I haven't had a lot of time. I don't know how those guys work. Uh, the guys who go sideways? Oh, they go sideways apparently? Just, just don't run into them. Just don't touch them. Okay. Mm, yeah, but if I don't know which direction they move, I don't know how to not run into them. And then you gotta just stay out of the way. Far, far away. Okay. Uh, here is the rundown. Different from his noble cousin, Ruby Q has a tougher life because his block, blocky pyramid is full of hazards. Red balls, that one, fall from the top of the pyramid and go down randomly, hoping to hurt Ruby Q so they don't chase after you. A pink ball, like the red balls, but when uh, comes to the last pyramid, becomes a snake. I think that might need to be purple balls, actually. Um, a snake is always trying to catch Ruby Q. It can be defeated with a perfect time jump on a disc. So have you done that yet? Mm -hmm. Off he goes. In the arcade, I'm going to just pause here for a second. You know on a pinball machine, when you get a free life, um, there's a solenoid that uh, smacks a piece of metal against wood, and it goes... Whack! Oh, you ever heard that. that? Okay. I do know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And when you get a free life, it goes smack, and it's like quite loud and disturbing. <laughs> uh, Qbert had one of those in it. So when... When you fall off the edge, does it like yeah, smack you? Yeah, when you fall off the edge, it goes whack! And it used to freak the hell out of me when I was in an arcade. Oh, you get that green ball, uh, you'll become invincible for like... Five seconds or ten seconds. So that's very handy. Oh, oh too slow. No, I went the I went the wrong way. I assume the fire button since fire isn't used in the game. Yep. Fire button is the pause. Does it uh, do it wait, did that say pause? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's go to another version. It you press the button and it pauses. Yep. But also you can pause in the middle of the scoring. Oh, anytime. So you don't have to wait for it to, like, start. be ready for you to pause. Mmm, that's handy. Yeah, it is handy. Mmm, it doesn't remember your last name that you put in, which would be handy. Yeah. Because um, 
Obviously, Darcy's like, oh, forget this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not putting DTP again. Okay, let's go up to... Wait. Oh, well, that was you easy are normal. Part. I was on easy. Okay. So let's go over one to funky mode. Um, we'll just find out what it is. It says, right. more enemies, moving discs... They're flashing. Uh -oh. Yeah, they moved. Uh, more enemies, moving discs, a bonus screen every four normal ones. So let's try and make it to uh, the bonus bonus screen. Going to get funky. Metal letter says. Um, yeah, they start flashing more and more, and then they move. Looks like they move up. I don't know if they... Um, have a pattern or they're random, but they seem to move up right now. Level two done. Two more. You can do it. You made it past four last time. Mm -hmm. I'm, the, I think... I'm the top scorer in this game. <laughs> that is true. Undefeated. That's a joke in um, how we do on <laughs> the show. You are the best in the world right now at this game. Yeah. Undefeated champion of Ruby Q. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> um, okay. Where was I on this? Okay. Oh, here comes the bonus round, supposedly. Go! Oh my god, what happened? What is going on? Did you just jump off the edge last time? Oh, oh you're trying to keep them a lit as many as possible. Okay. Oh, okay. One second left. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. That's oh six. Nice. Six hundred. Nice bonus. That's very very cool. Fun bonus round, Silvio. Oh, there's one of those guys. Let's see what he is. Something slowed down. Is that a uh... I Icy. Think? His name I is see. Icy. He Only found on ah. funky and mad modes. Falls from the top of the pyramid and goes down randomly icing cubes. Iced cubes remain cold for a while before turning in, uh, turning back to its initial state. If Ruby Q jumps over an ice cube, he will become cold and move slower for a while. Icy can be uh, caught by Ruby Q. So you can jump on the Icy guy and stop him. Ah. If you want to defeat that dude. Um, another guy, only in funky mode, and mad mode, flashing plonky, like his brother, but changed cubes on a locked color that can only be cleared by snake jumping on them. Oh my god. So you have to get snake to jump on that locked cube in order to unlock it. Oh, wow. That sounds... Very, very difficult. That's challenging. Yeah. Um, so, Elfie and Gobbly, on the third and fourth screen of each level, they jump from left to right side of the pyramid, making Rubik Q's life even worse. Those are those guys you saw coming from the sides. Oh, getting out your key. Oh, they didn't punch the hole? They, they never do. The coffee cup lids... There, there must be like Unpunched. one coffee cup lid puncher punching all the coffee cup lids, <laughs> and it just doesn't... Uh, it's a day off. This doesn't work anymore. <laughs> it's like it doesn't punch through enough to actually let air in, so it's not. It's literally not. So there was like a half-hearted attempt to punch it from yeah, the factory. Yeah, see how there's one there. Uh, oh, maybe. And there was one here, um, and neither okay. of them really let any air out. Okay, go to mad mode, and that will introduce Stormy. Um, maybe go to easy. It's like, a madhouse! Oh, and change the scanline graphics to something else now. Uh, let's go black. Classic? Black? We were on classic, yeah. So this is going to look bad on my system because my system has some timing issues. <laughs> because of the RGB. Or something else. See that bottom thing? Just ignore that. <laughs> oh, teleporting. Yep. So, ah, 
I never learn. Let's snake, see snake, snake, can... snake, snake. Snake. Warp cubes only in man mode. Placed randomly on the pyramid can be hazards or very smart escape ways. If very Ruby, smart. Very smart. If Ruby Q or any other enemy jumps on warp cubes, it will be warped to a random cube. Oh, so the enemies can use them too. Warp cube can only be cleared by Ruby Q. Oh, so they can warp through them and they'll stay there. Interesting. I want to see that happen. I like the increased contracts. Yeah, it looks really cool. And you can still tell they're cubes, even when the with the missing side. So it's a very, very cool looking option. Oh, oh, he oh. I was so distracted by that <laughs> happening that, that I was fell cool. off. It warped him right to the bottom. Now it doesn't clear it. It doesn't uh, change the color. It, it just makes them not warp anymore. Rage reset mode. <laughs> Um, another guy in mad mode is Stormy, which... Rage Reset is a thing that happens Get when him. you think He's wrecking your... that you uh, can succeed. But if you have no hope, as I have no hope, even though I'm I'm doing much better than I expected, <laughs> it's just like a more positive uh, vibe, you know? Instead of... Bonus! <gasps> Bonus! I wouldn't bother with the top two, because people are dropping constantly on them. Oh, you can die on the bonus level. I Is died. it really a bonus level then? <laughs> we what... object to dying on the bonus level. I don't know. Just like we? in Zookeeper. You can Can't... have a game over on the bonus level. Can't you die in, in Galaga on the bonus level? No. Or they don't shoot at you? They don't shoot at you. Mm. And That's they don't fly below you? That's a real bonus level. I don't know. It's a debate. We'll have to put that into a poll. Should you be able to die on a bonus level? Or is it like... Just bonus points and not. If it is a invincible. bonus level, then the level suggests that you should be able to die. <laughs> yeah, it's a if bonus it's just level. a bonus screen or something. Bonus then no, points. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. If you, you die, die in a bonus, bonus level, you die in red line. <laughs> That's right, Carl G. I guess Darcy's dead now. <laughs> so let's play that uh, mad mode again, and go to the other look for the game classic look i don't know what the computer directions do anymore joysticks <laughs> <laughs> that's a polybius bonus level <laughs> easy mad mm -hmm. top normal funky oh so it's keeping track on of a, which yeah. a separate screen oh that's what that's about but it'll reset when uh yeah because he has not added in the save key yet yeah Okay, so go up to that. Classic graphics and easy. Keep it on easy so we can see Stormy because he didn't come yet. Stormy, uh. Classic, funky, and doesn't mad. Say where he is comes. There is. Oh, I guess it's time to do two player. Oh, no, turbo not play! Yet. Not finished. Turbo play! I'm gonna die. <laughs> no, keep it on mad mode. We I have to see Stormy. We haven't seen Stormy yet. Jesus. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So it has the uh, little lines like in classic mode, like on the original original keyword for 2600. Oh, no, I jumped the wrong way. Trapped yourself. Um, discs, a way to escape from hazards, particularly from snake. But in funky mode, they change one position up a time so they do go up in funky mode and in mad mode they change position randomly oh uh oh oh, oh. oh what the hell oh what oh those are the locks modes oh, i didn't even see the stormy dude Me neither oh. uh he looked like the green guy that was the guy that uh, teleported i think Oh, oh, this. Oh. <laughs> he has to turn into the snake, I guess, to unlock those. Yeah. Wow, you just have to sit and wait for a snake. That's a good spot to wait for the snake. Can, well, he, ju can he jump up there? He can. So maybe it's not a great one, but he has to come after you. And he has to go to the bottom first. So when he, he starts as a purple blob. That's true. So when he gets to the bottom, then he comes back up. Oh my god, the cats are insane. <laughs> you have to hope that he goes up that path and then 
jump to the right. I mean, if it comes up to the right, you have to jump to the left. Oh, here he goes. Here comes Snake. Boing. Oh, I love the animation. Oh, he's got one. Jump. There you go. Lead him to the other one. Uh oh. Well, that's one way. There you go. And one more. Oh. Oh. I got him. There you I go. Didn't know, I didn't realize I could have got him one jump earlier, but... <laughs> oh, you did it. Anyway. I was too busy, uh, uh scared. A uh, scared of the a uh, snake. The only thing that good that can happen to Ruby Q is hitting a green ball. <laughs> I knew the teleporter was there. I knew I was gonna teleport. I just got too addicted to like moving my hand ahead of. Uh... It's time for two players. Uh oh. Yep. I didn't even do well enough to uh, get a score that time. <laughs> Um, sure. Um, which one do you like best? I think the black one's pretty cool. Two simultaneous players. Are we on the same team? It looks like it. Yeah, we're not changing to the one color that we want. Nice. Co-op. Co-op Qbert. Do it, sucker. Well, not Qbert. It's not Qbert. Oh, oh, look out! It's him! He's come already! Now the question... Oops. Oh, what the... Oh, we have separate lives. Yep, at the top. We live separate lives. <laughs> Together. But apart. No, we cooperate. It's good. Oh, my God. Oh! What are you doing? You're killing yourself. Hey, you died. That's not a ladder there, so... Don't try and go down that I way. know. I already tried once it's and I fell off. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh my god. And off there she goes. I thought I was you. <laughs> I don't know why, but I did. And you're, I jumped the wrong direction. You're the classic color. I'm the new Coke. The new Coke? <laughs> yes. New oh, Coke. oh, bonus level. This one we should clean up on. So, actually... No! If we stand right here... And if you were alive. Yeah, we could totally. Ah! Douche them. But we didn't. Well, uh, it's still pretty good bonus. 1900. Yeah. And I'm dead because apparently he's my last life. Oh, two warps. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. And you icy, no! No! You icy. bad. Oh my goodness. Bad icy. What, does that freeze them? or? Yeah, I have to wait till they thaw, which is oh. pretty quick. That was pretty quick. Oh, subtle color changes. What happens here. if you don't? Don't unfreeze them? When they're frozen, what do they do? They slow you down if you hop on oh, them. Oh, slowing you down. That's not quite as bad as I'd feared. No. And it, it was fairly short. The snake looks really good. <clears throat> I was actually really impressed with the snake in the original game, though, to be honest. Yeah, it was. I mean, the original keyword's very, very playable. The problem very with the good. original one, for me, was that the grid looked wrong. I don't even know if this is much different. This one doesn't look wrong. That's all I can tell you for sure. See, there's the... I don't know if you ever got a green, but that's what happens when you got a green. I got a green before, and okay. I didn't get no flash of screen. You must have. No. It's a green ball. Oh, green ball. No, yeah. I didn't get the green ball. I got the green dude. The naughty little green dude. Uh, ah! ah! You let the snake kill you before he was a snake! Yep. Nice game. Devs, buy all. <laughs> <laughs> nice two-player. Okay, that's pretty cool. Two-player co-op. Ah, I went the wrong way. Yeah, yeah the two-player co-op, I like it. Yeah, we'll have to play it again once Darcy, once I die. Get Darcy back in the game. There's those dudes, sideways dudes. He's a diagonal dude. Yeah. Oh, he's he goes on the side of the cubes, I see what you're saying. Oh my god. Yeah, he's, on, he's in a different dimension. <laughs> he doesn't uh, obey laws he's of in gravity. The yeah, that's right. Ah, ah. You do get bonus um, for discs that are left. Ah. Uh, if you care about points. I do. Ah! That does screw you up. Don't be such a Darcy. <laughs> <laughs> this There's is you. me. Okay, Boo! let's do two-player again. Uh... Oh, I did it again. <laughs> I don't know why I thought Oh I... my god, <laughs> let's reset. 
Don't die. Quit your dying. Quit your dying, man. <laughs> ah. Don't be so die. -y. So it's not quite uh, co-op. Yeah. No. The score. We don't share oh, a score. Yeah. So, so you can we still, are out you can for still beat me. Yeah. We, I bet we, we we share the bonus. Nope. Yeah. No. <laughs> Look, I was two thousand, um, and you were six hundred, and, and then you finished the level. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Look at the bonus. Well, that's... It's in my color. Oh, my God. So, what I should do is... Stand still, just like that. Stand still, waiting for you to complete. Ah! Ah! See, I didn't and let him kill me. I jumped off. <laughs> I grabbed the bonus at the very end. <gasps> that's right. So, it's co-op-ish? Oh, this is the bonus time. It's co-op, okay. dude. Is this so going gotta... here? No, this is a different bonus. Oh, actually, this... Actually, that's very smart. Oh, what got away? Oh my god. Stop it! Ugh. You Actually, got the bonus, I didn't row. get the bonus. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. How does it's not co-op, it's it's <laughs> it's uh points to three. <laughs> <laughs> that adds another element. Oh now what happens here? Ah, oh, I missed it. We have to finish the colors. Oh god, what a mess. I have to wait for the snake to clear out all this mess. Such a mess. He got me. I'm dead. I'm dead, he got me! Oh. <clears throat> well, there's another snake coming. So what I will do... Oh, no, 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 wrong way, snake. This way. There we go. I, I, I really like that ah. you have to get the snake to do it, even though... That is cool. Even though it seriously stressed me out when I found <laughs> out you had to do that. It, it's fairly stressful. It's it's cool. It's like... If you're not hopeless at the game, it's good to have challenges like that. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. Oh, Missed nice. On. You almost got it, but you didn't. He's very fast. <laughs> <laughs> you almost didn't die, but you died. Oh, that was risky. That was risky. Ah! Oh, what was that noise? What was that noise? Oh, you saved, uh, I don't know. You saved, uh, yourself some bonus points by not you using a disc. Sure did. Did you get points for, for making them fall off, though? Yeah. So maybe you didn't save yourself bonus points. Oh, maybe, yeah. I don't know what... The, I'll have to look that up. When you do it, we'll all look and pay attention to how many points you get for sending them on a... a journey of death. A, a, a journey last, of death. The last flight. His last flight. Ah! Ah! That's not how you do it. Not at all. No. This is not the way. This is not the way. There was a way that, wasn't it? Yep. Level 2-4. This goes up to level 9-4 if you don't die. Like I just did. If he uh, follows the arcade levels. Um, Silvio, are you going to... Would you implement a 45 degree angle joystick control into the game? Do you have room for that? Or are you interested? Because it seems like a very, very, very simple hack. The only question for me is, is that a worse, uh, is it worse? Like, know. are joysticks less re responsive to a diagonal? Is it harder to successfully diagonal than it is? Because that's why I On think they probably did it the way they did. Because if it has to are. press two buttons, and what if you get, you know what I mean? Because sometimes when I try to go on an angle, yep. I am not successful. Oh, 100%. I, I don't know if it's better, that's the thing. Oh, come on. Yes. You could make it an option. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. An option. But no, it, maybe it's not worth making it an option, though, if it's worse. If it's objectively worse. I think worse. it's always worth making it an option. Um, do you know what's happening here? Uh, you no. jump on squares, and they ungo. They change to whatever they weren't. They that, switch. They flip. You have to do this I perfectly. Am I flipping them? You are flipping them. Oh, I am them. flipping You're them. a green dude. I wasn't even paying attention. You're a green dude. Oh, the snake is totally met. Come here, snake. 
Get out of here. Oh my god. Stop it. And he wrecks it even more. Oh my god. Stop it. This is super... Oh, I'm not even doing it well. Ugh! Oh, painful. <laughs> painful. I was not paying attention. Is this the same? Oh, it is. Uh, the rule to kill enemies... Just the disc thing, right? Yep. yep. The disc, or if they're the ones that you can kill. So this is the on-off button again. Damn it. Yeah, it's the on-off button. I think this whole level is on-off. I went through a warp. Ah! Good run. Good run. Yep. Good run. Okay. Uh, um, I'm going to get you to play. I've got a, like a million things to read out about Qbert. So maybe play easy mode. So well, I could classic. leave it in one, two player and then I will win. And the snake will go after <laughs> you for a few times. Well, maybe not classic, but yeah, you could play classic. Um, uh, mad mode? Is that the one we're doing? Whichever one you want to play. I know you want Mad Mode. Yeah, because it's more most don't. interesting. Um, so about... So I was looking at the different versions of Qbert that were made, all the different ports for the different uh, consoles. And some Kermit. of them had six rows like this. So I guess it, so you get half. bonus points for bad guys that are on the screen. Do you? Yeah, you seem to anyways. Oh. Well, that would... Make it so that maybe you want the snake on the screen. I was just going to say, like, it... And you don't want to use up? Because why would you want to use up? Then that would encourage you using up all your escapes. Every time. Why? On the snake. Why? Uh, if you got more points <laughs> for killing them. No, what I'm saying is that you get... You seem to get points... I'm not sure if I'm right, but yeah. I, it seemed like it was counting up the bits that, like, all the things on the screen. Mm. Uh, like, they disappeared one at a time. Oh, they went bloop, bloop, bloop. Like, you get a bonus. Oh, no. Whoa, that was a good I did that save. on purpose. I really just want... <laughs> <laughs> um, so, this has six rows. Most of the ports have six rows. Um, some... Uh, no, most of the rows have... No. No. Most of the ports had seven rows. Um, but about 40% of six. And um, Silvio addressed that. I'm sorry, but the missing row is not possible for some technical reasons. First of all is cycle counting. Although using the best DPC processor, uh, CDFJ, actually the last row is drawn using a single assembly line for each cube top line. So no machine cycles left. Second one, the H-move comb effect. Uh, left side of the screen is black due to multiple H-move calls, so no le space left to draw. So down the left side is actual the comb effect, which you want to try and hide as much as possible. And he is hiding with black. Oh, too slow. Um, so Silvio said uh, he... Uh, borrowed a feature from uh, the faster, harder, more challenging Hubert, which was a, a planned arcade machine that was never released. Um, Sam changes the blocks in a locked mode. Um, so he has changed it to... Uh, uh, there, get him! Don't stop hopping away! <laughs> oh, you got it. Through the warp. You're, like, hopping faster than he was <laughs> getting. What do you get from him? Bonus points? Uh, you get uh, a flashy screen for flash, fun. And flashy screen. And invincibility. Invincibility. And everybody stops. Right into him. Yeah, because my fingers did the wrong thing. Come mm. on, fingers. He had get one job. <laughs> and that is to hop the cubert. Bye bye! That when, it, when uh, the snake. Do you see how many points I got from him? Clack. No, I didn't. Um, 
So let's actually read how many points everything is worth. So I've got a um, hints and tips screen here. Thing. Haha, uh -huh, your bonus is the flashy screen. Ah! <laughs> Gameplay, I think this is. The scoring, no. Walkthrough. So how frustrating is it to watch me play? <laughs> On a scale from 1 to 10. <laughs> Um, the bonuses are set each level. Apparently, that was my best game. <laughs> oh, congratulations. Uh, on level one, the bonus is 1,000. Level two, 1,250. Level three, or level one, round three, 1,500. And then it maxes out at 5,000 bonus points on level five, round two. There's actually six discs on level five round two. That's a lot of discs. Guess you need them, because it gets really hard. Uh, where are the points? Maybe it wasn't on this screen. Damn it. Ah! Ah! Why? <laughs> Why you do it wrong? Why? Less frustrating than playing myself. <laughs> Maybe it's under versions. Let's see. Nope. Can't find any points. But Silvio has included them. Uh, changing a cube color, 25 points. Jumping in a warp cube, 50 points. Making a snake fall, 500. Mm. Hitting a green ball, I believe, 100. Hitting Plonky, 300. Bonus score after each screen. From 1,000 to 0 points, depending on how fast you did the did the task, plus 250 points for each disc left. So it's actually better to make the snake fall. Yep. Because you get double the points. You get 500 for the snake falling, but only 250 for the disc. So actually, to get maximum points... Oh, I think you got the pattern. You go down to the right to get the other guy if he falls. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So you do want to make the snake fall. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Pull of a tilco. Oh, got him. Um, so what is left to do on this? Improving graphics, he says. The graphics look amazing. Um, adding the uh -oh. save. Adding the save. No! Oh, wrong direction! Why did I do the wrong... I wasn't panicked. I was like, I I thought I I got this. That's what that's what I thought was happening. I oh, got this. You got some frozen ones. And there. then my hands three went wrong, frozen right? ones. Oh no. Um, he needs to improve the graphics. I don't know where, but he says he needs to improve them. Um, oh, those are like I need a snake to get rid of them. Graphic uh, problems. Yes, you have to get the snake to jump. So stay on the bot bottom one, and then move up when he gets close. <laughs> There you go. Now, now you can get them. Actually, you can make the snake jump away. How do I get him onto that bottom one? Oh, oh I know. I know. I got to be on the bottom one. Be on the bottom. The and, oh, and trouble. Oh, you just made your life hell more. Uh, he's going to add save key functionality. Maybe. No, you should. Um, actually, Bratwurst Sausage. Wow, great animation for 2600. It unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Yay, 500 points. It is. Bratwurst, I've been extolling the virtues of your joysticks everywhere I go. I'm an evangelist for your joysticks. So, I expect You should get my, bonus points for I expect my I expect my 5% in the mail uh, for every joystick sold <laughs> very soon. Ah! Um, so that was just suicide. I, yeah, I, I didn't want to get too good. They're my favorite joysticks. They're so, so good. They're the right weight. They're not huge. They're clicky. And uh, so hopefully you can keep up with the demand. Apparently it wasn't my best. Uh, oh, you're not doing your best. But, no, they're all mad scores. So, yeah, you did get achieve very uh, good scores there. Um, Silvio, uh, I have a question. Are you going to add in the voices with the Atari box? Because that... Want me to reset? Because <laughs> that would 
Maybe. Measured, that measured would, uh, consideration reset. Because that would put this game over the top, like just beyond. Because that, um, the Atari Vox, I think can do a very, very good voice um, for Qbert. Um, he wants to add an Easter egg. He's going to make a PAL version, and he needs to fix bugs. Not that I've found. I second the motion to add in Atari Vox faux swearing. Yes. Oh, boy. So you want to... Yeah, yeah the, the wow, faux the, the, swearing would be so easy to do because it already makes really weird noises. Um, there's actually a little tale about that that I'm going to read. Okay, fall over my feet on. Under the fun Cuber trivia page. So here's the question. Should you wait until you get all the snakes before you change the level? Theoretically, if you want the most points, yes. Or is there a bonus for, like, complete... Oh, you get a bonus for completing the map quickly. Just completing it. Uh, quickly? No? Yeah. Was it quickly? It said zero to a thousand, depending on how quickly. I thought that's what you read. Let me see. Uh, yeah. How fast you did it. Huh. So, yes, doing it fast would be best, but if you can't do it fast, they go for the snake. And sometimes on the... <laughs> On the mad level, you have, to, you have to sit around and wait for the snake anyway. Uh, that glitch is my system, so ignore that. Which it's, glitch? A, it's a timing oh, the... issue. Uh, the the ladder-like thing. Bloop, bloop. <laughs> bloop, bloop. Oh, oh, oh. Darcy's is getting tricky. Oh, no! You've lost control no. of the whole situation. <laughs> Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Um, so let's see about the swearing thing. Because there's a good. Oh, here it is. Sound composer uh, David Thiel composed Qbert's incoherent swearing, which is generated by a speech synthesizer designed by Votrax Incorporated. The Thiel originally tried to compose coherent phrases, but was unable to do so, and decided to string together random speech sounds instead. I jumped on the thing, and then he killed me anyway. What? Oh, if you jump too late, or too early, onto the disc, he'll just go up to the top and come kill you. So you have to wait for the last second. You can't just jump on a disc and he jumps off. He's he's wise to your shenanigans. Get but him, I was get him. on. Okay. Oh uh, no, I had it. Um, I had it right, and then I lost faith. Uh, so he decided to string together random speech sounds instead, which he uh, felt was a good fit for Cubert swearing. Thiel later commented, We wanted the game to say, You've gotten 10,000 bonus points. And the closest I came to it after an entire day would be bogus points. <laughs> Being very frustrated with this, I said, Well, screw it. What if I just stick random numbers in the chip instead of all this highly authored stuff? What happens? So that's how uh, he came to be swearing. Hi, it really looked like the video froze when you made that face. <laughs> they said robbed, so they're agreeing with you that something uh, something out of the ordinary happened there. I didn't see what happened, so I can't uh, cast a ruling on it myself. No! That was definitely me being stupid. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I'll play, and you can read some cool trivia. Well, Qbert. Sec, I, I gotta put in uh, here. I gotta beat your top score. <laughs> Give it. I was trying to keep from tangling it under this thing's cord. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, a part of my brain was trying to, like... <laughs> so, oh, we haven't shown any of the hard or hardest play. So what should we start with? Turbo. Just go straight to turbo. Straight to turbo. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what am I reading? I'm gonna... Just any of them that sound interesting. Okay, well, let's close this up. <laughs> <laughs> Look at any of them. So I'm going to do classic on Turbo because... Turbo! Oh my god! Do you, have you read any of these yet? Uh, just one. Which one? <laughs> the one you didn't hear. 
But I was trying to not die. I was not listening uh, precisely to every word you were saying. The one about speech, okay. uh, where he was trying to make it. Oh, okay, yeah, I did things. actually hear that one. Yeah, this is very, very okay. fast. A limited edition version of of Cubert was created for the Coca Cola Company, which advertised their soft drink Mellow Yellow. This game played pretty much the oh same as the original, but had a cutscene where Cubert would enjoy a can of Mellow Yellow. Mellow <laughs> Yellow. Glug glug glug. Several early arcade units were shipped with the title... Oh, yeah. You talked about it earlier. With the, like, unpronounceable blah, blah, blah. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. I forgot to watch the screen. Turbo is insanely hard. So if you're an expert at Qbert, uh, that's the game for you. Did you see how fast it was? No. Let's okay. see. I'll do it again because I die really quick. I, I can't even, I can't even keep up. Like it's you're just not good enough. <laughs> well, that is true. Oh, I need that green. Oh, it's too fast. Ah, ah woohoo! See, you are getting better. <laughs> you got that sucker. Ah, ah, ah! Cornered. Like, how do you even get out of that? Ah, give me the green. Ah. Life, life is hard sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> ah. What mode is this called? Turbo. Turbo mode. It is appropriately named, and I, I. I 100% agree with putting a turbo mode into a game like this. <laughs> Ramping up to warp 9. Yeah, no, it's awesome. It's awesome to have the option of insanely oh. hard. Yeah, because... Uh, forcing me to play insanely hard makes me uh, sad. Let's, but yes. making it option is awesome. Let's try hard. This is like chill mode compared to what I was just playing. Well, turbo <laughs> mode was... You could, you could call it irrational mode. Yeah. Or like this looks like mode. maybe arcade mode hard. Those characters have an official name. Grawlix. Grawlix? Who? Which one? Which one is Grawlix? Ooh, the snake is fast. Oh god. Oh, I managed to escape that somehow. Oh. If it's yellow? The swear word characters. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought you meant a character character, not like written characters. Oh, God. Oh, oh I almost killed myself twice there. Come with me, snake, to a world of imagination. Or just off the ledge. Can't go at, get out over it, how smooth it all moves. Yeah, that is the best part of this game is, well, not really. Everything is the best part of this game. I want that. Come here, ball. You haven't found any good ones? You can just read them. <laughs> Once I read them, they don't sound as interesting anymore. But I have to read them first <laughs> to see. <laughs> Funny. So I'm like, oh, I know that one. That's not that interesting. <laughs> I already know it because I just read it. Bastard green guy. Ah! I need that. Come here! Come here! Oh, he's so fast! The first world record score oh, I'm gonna was die. Hurry, 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 hurry. 1983 by Rod Garrel... Uh, Gerhardt? Gerhardt? Reading a, uh, reaching a record score of 33 million points. This record Jeez. stood for almost 30 years when George Lutz from Brooklyn, New York played one game of Qbert for 84 hours and 48 minutes on February 14th, 2013 at... Richie Knuckles Arcade in Flemington, New Jersey, scoring Richie. 37 million points. So, yeah, if you're going for a world record, don't play a game that you need to play oh, for 84 hours for. I see the other one. Go for short games. The first known world record on tournament settings. Oh. Because I, I read one and it was much lower scores. Oh, yeah, there's different, there's different settings you can do inside the arcade machines to get more quarters <laughs> from your patrons. Hard is, um, hard's challenging. Oh, it talks about the, uh, pinball machine, uh, component to make a loud thwack when... Oh, yeah, read about that, please. Originally, a pinball machine component was installed inside the cabinet to make a loud sound when a character falls off the pyramid. The sound is generated by an internal coil that hits the interior of a cabinet wall. Foam padding was added to the area of contact on the cabinet. The developers felt the softer sound better matched a fall rather than a loud 
a knocking sound. Oh, he was still The cost loud. of installing foam, however, was too expensive, and the padding <laughs> was removed. <laughs> so it was loud. So they didn't put foam in it. They I'm, put foam, and then they... It's too expensive. It was removed. That foam is Later, too expensive. Later, it was too much for foam. Like, what do you what do you think we're made of? Like, where do you think foam comes from? It doesn't grow on trees. <laughs> so I'm going to play... Unless it's cork. It mad mode cork on easy. Instead of foam. I like to get further... Yeah, that's no, that's an RGB mod issue on my system, those stray pixels. I blame everything on that. Until other people play it, I don't know about those lines. They don't seem like the normal glitch, but uh, the RGB chip inside my 2600 has slight timing issues. Like, it either, like, slows things down enough that it doesn't turn things off quick enough or leaves them on too long. Um... So I'm going to play Mad on easy because I like all the crazy characters, but I like to be able to... No! Bad! Oh, I can't catch up with him! Because <gasps> he's so... Uh, he slows me down. Oh, there. So you can see those... Yep. Those pixels are definitely my system. Mm. What is happening? Oh, they're supposed to be gray. <laughs> my Sound God. composer David Thiel composed Qbert's Incoherent I said Swearing. That one. I said that one. That's the one I read. <laughs> foam does grow on trees just not the same region as wood and icy producing trees <laughs> yeah those foam trees you stop making things icy oh it's nice that it hangs in the air for a second above you if you're on one of the top cubes yeah so move out of the way yeah that is that is fantastic and yep. once i realized that i felt a lot better slash worst about dying that time <laughs> <I was> not... <laughs> that's right <laughs> now you can't blame oh, it, no, on. it really was me i'm a dumb dumb <laughs> um after agreeing on a title for the game the director the art director richard tracy changed the game the name to cubert with a hyphen uh, and the hyphen was later changed to an asterisk. In retrospect, Warren Davis regrets that the hyphen was changed to an asterisk Why? since the asterisk is used as a wild card for internet search engines. Oh, yeah. During the game's That's original location... During the game's original location testing, the controls were met with mixed reactions. Some players adapted quickly, while others found it frustrating. Yeah, it's this issue. testing caused Warren Davis to worry that too many players would find the control scheme difficult to adjust to, as some players would unintentionally jump off the pyramid several times, reaching the game over in about 10 seconds. <laughs> Davis later decreased the game's difficulty to accommodate this, a decision he has since oh. regretted. Oh, yeah, people... I, I heard that people thought Hubert was too easy after... Oh, God. I stuck myself in the corner. And that's why they were planning on making a harder Hubert. Hmm. Um, but they were talking about controls. What does that have to do with anything? I, I don't know. I don't know. What. Like, having terrible controls is not to make it easier. You don't solve it by making it easier. You <laughs> No. You just change the controls. But that would change the whole way the... What were the what what were the controls that were complicated? The forty five degree angle controls. That if you want to go in a forty five, you move in a forty five. That was confusing. Yeah, I, and they were restricted to it too. Like the the joystick only had those directions. So why was they how it moved in what, a slot, How is that confusing? Anybody in the chat, are you confused by moving the joystick in the direction you want to go? And if not, which is fine, like, yeah. when things are confusing, they're confusing, but what would, what would not be confusing? Like a control scheme that would not be confusing? Yeah. Where do you think the joystick stick should go to go in the direction you want to go? <laughs> There's... There, because the one that is set up right here that you seem fine with... Because my brain is adapted, obviously, not completely, as soon as I said that to going down equals down and left, up equals up and right. No. I don't rewire my brain like that. No? No. Well, I'm you've too played... afraid that it will stay rewired. And then... You've played I've had, flight I've simulators, had games, right? I've had games where... Uh, Jesus. No, that was you. It was, I know, Jesus but... had I'm... nothing to do with it. Well, he didn't help. <laughs> he was no more to blame for that than he is uh, to blame for making the bacon in my frying pan in the morning. Simultaneously, the most friction-heavy uh, device and slipperiest device on the planet at the same time. <laughs> ah! 
do it twice. There we go. You wanted to get rid of the snake, though. Jesus, take the bratwurst. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, make the screen 45 degrees. Make the last one. Yes, <laughs> make the screen 45 degrees. <laughs> there you go. You just you rotate the solved. actual screen. Problem solved, suckers. See, you have to think outside the box. And then rotate the box 45 degrees. Am I? And <laughs> then rotate the box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't get what... Like, if yeah. pointing in the direction that he goes is confusing, I don't get what wouldn't be confusing. I, 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 I didn't... Um... I, have you played flight simulators? Yes. And where up is down and down is up? That's not, the, but that isn't it. It isn't. It's that, like, if you, it, that's entirely, that is one of the two ways you could do it and see it, but both are correct. So, like, if you take this stick and you go, this stick is attached to the airplane. If I pull it back, it tilts yeah. the plane up. Yeah. And if I push it forward, it tilts the plane down. It's perfectly sensible. It it's is. Not, it's not turning everything 90 degrees. But I want to go, if I want to go down, I push down. But you, but, but that's like. <laughs> right. That, that's the argument. That's, that's the counter argument. What I'm saying though, is that both arguments are correct. Yeah. Oh, it's Whereas this, one is correct and the other one is cuckoo bonkers, nut job crazy. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, like making it 90 degrees. Oh, sure, you can adapt, but you have to adapt is the point. Oh, you... Are those reset? Uh, yes. yes. No! Oh, they're reset. Oh, my <laughs> God. This is the worst level oh, in mad mode ever. <laughs> Maybe tilting the screen 45? I don't know. How did I do? On that. Well, I think that tilting the screen 45 would work. <laughs> pushing up. Number one! Up. You're the worst. Number because one. Because you're the best. Number one. I'm going to play not on mad mode and see how far I can get. Okay. Is there anything that we have not done that people want to see us do? They, they want to see the screen turn 45 degrees. <laughs> I, can re I, can <laughs> I don't think OBS has rotate. Uh, it has resize, but not rotate, because that seems like a OB. weird thing to do. It would be... <laughs> Unconventional. It would have to cause... Because pixels aren't square, so it would have to cause all sorts of yeah, strangeness. That's true. You would be better off tilting your screen 45 and then putting the webcam at it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that would be an easy... The most easy solution. Um, the easiest would just be would just be to say, "Okay, I've tilted the screen 45 degrees," and then don't show them. Doesn't Cubert? Doesn't the arcade Cubert have, have an X gate? I thought it did. That's what you were saying. Anyway. Yeah, but I haven't seen it in a long time. Um, there is a page that I have some hints that you can read out for help us, help us play better. Maybe. Let's see. Did you say for help us play better? Help us play better. Do good for, thing. For help us play better. For help us play better. <laughs> uh, is the whole pyramid made of play field? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. The original one it was as well. Did we ever determine if it's Vitico or Vitoco? <laughs> we uh, talked about we it. We haven't determined Has that. Has Vitoco 8-bits weighed in on how Vitoco 8-bits is pronounced? <laughs> uh, I don't think it's Vit Vitico, but it could be. I think my money's on Vitoco. Vitoco. But he can tell it us It depends on whether it's oh. a supplement. <laughs> a, a vitamin supplement. Vitoco. Vitoco. Oh, Vitoco. Vitoco. Take your Vitoco. <laughs> That's fine. That's anything. That's fine. Whatever you say. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> okay, Vitoco. We'll just call is. you 8 bits. 8 bits. <laughs> That's pretty generic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very easy to say. It is. Vitoco. Vitoco. Oh, we didn't even Vitoco. get it. Vitoco. 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 Oh, God. 
I guess there won't be freezing in normal mode. Aha, suck it, snake. Get down uh, there. We need some hints. Cubert's one and only goal is to change the color of all the cube tops to the goal color indicated in the upper left corner of the screen. Yes. To change the color of a cube, Cubert must merely jump on top of the cube. That is a lie. <laughs> That's not a lie. That is how you change the color. It's just that you don't know. You have to do it sometimes. Change back. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it changes back. Identifying the major threats in the game. The red balls, purple balls, coily, wrong way, and ug. Ensure that you steer clear of each of them and read the how-to play section to learn more about it. They do not, they do not ensure that you read the how-to section <laughs> to learn more about each of their behaviors. That is false. And I you would, have to it. no, it says one sentence and, <laughs> oh no. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. It's, it's not. It's not. It's not wrong. Okay. It's ensure that you steer clear of each of them and read the how-to play <laughs> section to learn oh, more. You're saying about each of their behaviors. Steer clear of the how-to. <laughs> I thought it was it? that they ensure that you steer clear, but <laughs> I've made that up. That was in my head only. It didn't uh, read like that on the page. Just up here. It happens. It does a lot. With more and more frequency as time goes on. <laughs> oh, oh my god <laughs> in general Cubert should be attempted should attempt to collect anything green as quickly and safely that's sensible green is a nice color i like green yeah uh, just as quickly stuff. and safely as possible whether it is to receive the helpful benefit of the time freeze from the green ball or to stop the disruptive behavior of stick and sam of slick and sam stick em. stick em, sam stick em, sam Oh, this is the one I have to change back. Right? However, do not recklessly attempt to collect them if doing so will cause you to run into a threat. Okay, let's just That sounds do like this. like obvious, but uh, oh I could God. use that uh, advice. Yep. Hey, green. Hey, hey! Did I get it? Oh, there we go. This is much easier without those troublemakers of uh, freezing. Early in the game, there will only be two oh, discs per stage. As you progress, that number will fluctuate, rising as high as seven in one board, but never lower than two, and finally settling on five for the rest of the game. Aside from the green balls, these are your best tools to take a break from the action and get the board back under your control. You can press the button for pause in this mode, yes. which we all appreciate. Much later. Yep, you can do it here. You can do it in bonus mode. That's awesome that he programmed that in. Wow. Anytime you can do it. Oh, now what happened? Bonus points are awarded for every stage cleared. In addition, bonus points are also re rewarded. So bonus points are awarded for in every stage. They're also rewarded for any, <laughs> any used... I what, find it funny. What is, oh. For any unused disc remaining on the stage. Am I screwing up? Like what? Hubert is awarded bonus lives at 8,000 points and every 14,000 points thereafter. Default set. As the games as the game progresses, three things change. The speed of the game gradually increases. The number of characters that you must deal with simultaneously increases, and the complexity of the level of the level rules increases. Damn it! Terrible. In level one, all you need to do is jump on a cube once to set it to the goal color. Subsequent jumps will never reset the color. In level two, jumping once on a cube That's sets it. the color to a middle color. Jumping on it a second time will set it to the goal color. Subsequent jumps will never reset the color. In level three, jumping on jumping once on a cube sets it to the goal color. However, a second jump will revert the cube back to the start color. Each subsequent jump toggles the color between the goal and the start color. In level four, jumping once on a cube sets the color to the middle color. Jumping on it a second time will reset it to the goal color. This is Atari. This However, is a third Atari jump will cat. revert the cube back to the middle color. Each subsequent jump toggles the color between the goal and the middle colors. Mr. Green Guy. Oh, the snake's getting fast. In level five and every level beyond, the first jump changes the cube to the middle color. The next jump changes it to the goal color. The next jump changes it to all the way back to the start color. This cycle repeats itself. Over forever. That seems less tedious than in level four. Uh, level four is, is, is a bit tedious. Yeah, but it's less tedious that it just goes back and forth. Yes. Rather than that you first have to jump on everything twice and then it goes back and forth. Yeah, it's, it's not good. 
but it's better. Uh, Qbert's general strategy in level 1 and 2 will be to drop from the top of the pyramids towards the bottom and change the lower blocks as early as possible and gradually work his way back to the top. Occasionally, Qbert will have to break off of this strategy to jump on a disc to safety. Whee! I added the Wii, that's not <laughs> That's not in there. Uh, from level 3 on, the strategy should be adapted to focus on getting level the lower hard. corners set to the goal color and attempting to never return them. <laughs> never! Never! I've got you by the neck, cat. Um, st uh, start with the cornermost cubes, then work your way out to the second and third layers connected to the corners. Once these cubes are converted, the center cubes of the board are a little easier to deal with since they require less backtracking. Level 9 yes. is the last level in the game. After finishing level 8, level 9 repeats forever. Hi! Oh my god, level 4 is hard. It's much harder than the... I don't know why. Because you have to do it twice when there's things chasing after you. Hi! Hi, monster! I think I read level 5 wrong. I'm, let's, in every level beyond... In level 5, and every level beyond, the first jump changes the cube to the middle color, the next jump changes it to the gold color, and the next jump changes it all the way back. Oh, okay, oh, no. yeah, no, that's worse, yeah. Yeah, you definitely need to press pause and figure out what you're going to do when you get to level 5. Oh, come on! I just... Oh, it has to be green. Oh, my God. This is a nightmare. It's a nightmare. It is. <laughs> this is a nightmare. Oh, I'm almost done, but not. <laughs> Did I get it? No, what's left? Ah, there's a snake after me. Yes. Oh my god, what did I miss? It's this game called Qbert. Now I have to... Oh my god, it's so hard. You got him. Strange I've never been thrown off by the angle and hold the control as normal. That's what I do, yeah. I, 45 you know what? actually you, messes me up. I tried. You say you've never been thrown off, but you must have been thrown off initially because it makes no sense! <laughs> and you would have had to figure that out. <laughs> At first, yeah. At, At first. first. Oh, last level, level four. I only have one life left. Uh, I have to make it orange. Get out of here. Yeah, this is, uh... Yeah, this is level four. Isometric <laughs> perspective rage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've almost got it. I'm gonna get rid of the snake because oh, and then it's all the way back to the top. Ah! But you go all the way down. No, you go all the way down in one row. God, it's too late to do it now. Because I'm dead. Oh, I have zero lives left. Okay. And then go back up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep, that's true. Okay, level five. This is the nightmare mode, right? Because it just goes through three cycles. I have to change it to green. I have to change it to green. And once you get it to green, ah. it goes back to pink, which is the starting one. So you that's why I'm saying you have to press pause and figure your shit out. <laughs> because otherwise you're just Yeah, you can't you can't yeah. just like wing it like you did on four. Yeah. Number one, level five on easy isometric perspective. Yeah. yeah, no, I get it, Crossbow. Like, y y like if you figure it out quick, you're not going to re remember that it was a pain in the ass to begin yeah. with. Yeah. If you're like me uh, and, like, getting outraged by things uh, like the joystick being wrong, you don't remember things like that. Why would you? Yeah. Like, it's, like, constant. There's not enough memory in my brain to remember all the times I freaked out about the slipperiness slash frictionfulness of bacon on the pan. Like, that's, like, every time I try to flip bacon. Okay, so let's play <laughs> one more two-player game. Hi! And wrap it up, unless there's something that uh, somebody wants us to do in the game. Let's play uh, two-player classic. Should we do classic? No, let's do the full full mad mode. Um, easy, yep. Yeah, that's, a, that's an issue, I think should not move away. So remember, you are the left Qbert. Do not jump off the ledge. <laughs> what just happened? Did you die? I thought that you had completed it. <laughs> and then I did something wrong with my joystick. <laughs> 
which is how I am. <laughs> Stop the wrongdoings. Uh, you got the bonus points for that. Wonder if I complete it while you're in midair, if it stops you or completes your traversing. We should try that. No! Oh! <laughs> gotta watch those teleporters. I got the last one. I know you did. <laughs> I thought you were waiting there for me to complete it. That's well, like a stalemate. That like, we would just stand there. We would both just stand there waiting for the other person to complete it. Oh, actually, I could go up to oh. the... Okay, let's do this. Let's get 100% on this. You patrol the top. I'll do the bottom. I'm almost done. And then... No! no. Keep the patrol at the Look. top! Okay. Are you unaware? Are you completely unaware that I do not have complete mastery of the joystick? Is it? It's been years. And you still don't know? I'm I'm vaguely aware of it. Uh, but we did it. Regardless of uh, the issues that uh, plague us. <laughs> Oh my god, I did what you did. You did a Darcy. I did it. I pulled the full Darcy. <laughs> oh no, the Stormy! Oh, oh yes, we never encountered that. If you hop on a storm... You do it wrong. You, your joystick goes backwards <laughs> for a little bit. What just happened? Oh, you oh, died. Oh, we got the storm... The storm maker. Yep. Okay, we got a lure... So, best strategy, start at the top. Get get up here. Or are you going to stand there? No, no, get up here. Get up here. No. You're okay. going to get hit. <laughs> if you weren't arguing with me, I would have jumped out of the way. <laughs> lies and I would lies. have, but I was like, I was thinking through my strategy. <laughs> Two-player mode is very cool. Until the other person dies, and then it's one player mode. Then it's one player mode, and then it's normal cool. And it's just super normal cool. Boink. I want to try the thing where I complete the level when you're in mid travel. So, what I want you to do is go near one of the uh, travel y things. Oh, goddamn. I was, I was, it was all set up. I, I was know. like one jump from. I know. <laughs> I accidentally finished it. <laughs> Jumped off the edge. Okay, let's try it again. You get over there on that one. I'm going to finish this side. No. I wanted some bonus points. <laughs> you took all the we bonus points. We have to try something. <laughs> oh my god. You have two players left. <laughs> okay. Don't die. Get over to one of the platforms. Oh, the snake's coming. Go to the left platform. Good, this one. Okay, I'm gonna die. Okay, okay, ready? <laughs> ready? No. Get on it. Go. Get on it. Get on Bye. it. Oh, geez, it's too short. Get on this one. Quick. Okay, okay pause you midair. That's all I wanted to know. Whether it completed your journey. Uh. Oh, it did, did disappear your platform, so you should fall. That'd be funny. Okay. Let's play one more two-player. Finish it off. What, how is playing one more finishing it off? <laughs> the, the show. Finish off the show. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh! Did you die already? Shh! <laughs> On the first level. Uh, it actually really changes it. The fact that you're running around and getting the cubes that I yeah. want really disrupts, like, <laughs> my, like, you died brain. Again. Well, the purple guy jump there I was talking and you were taking all my cubes that top area is very dangerous For, it is. Okay, except for this level, where it's pure strategy, and you have to cooperate to, uh... uh you're not sure. I think 
we share the bonus? Get the bonus? No, no. You get it. That's what I thought. Oh. Well, it is good to cooperate and then maybe trade off every second time. No, it that's happens. not good to cooperate. You should not cooperate. <laughs> you should definitely not. Like, that's the lesson learned. You should definitely not cooperate. Yeah. Look, I just got 1,750 points that's a that lot you points. didn't get, that and it's little... because I didn't cooperate. That's right. That is true. Like, none of those points came from me cooperating. <laughs> oh, I can't imagine the levels where, which we've never made it to, where every hop changes some changes it back. With two players? That sounds like a nightmare. Because you could just sabotage the other person, and then... The oh! Le lever will never never end. What? What? The snake was about to come out, and you get 500 points for killing him. Uh, I'd have to lead him off the edge, though. Yes, but you were right at the edge. So... Uh, uh, what yeah. is the thing you're arguing about? That you get more points for quickly finishing the level. But when the snake is about to show up, I'm pretty sure the 500 points... Oh, is true. better than the amount of time because you you're not wasting much time that's true that is a truth if you're sitting around waiting for a snake then yes you might waste time but who knows who knows how fast the time goes down there's no timer nobody knows how fast the time goes <laughs> down okay what am i changing it to that guy like he doesn't just jump he like he like toots up a storm as he goes. <laughs> okay, there's a snake. Okay, so, let's do it. Yes, let's okay, do let's do the thing that's smarter. <laughs> Reluctantly. I'll guess I'll do the smart thing. <laughs> when all other options are exhausted. <laughs> okay, uh -oh. now how do I successfully get a hundred perfect percent on this. I don't know if that's possible because they keep messing up my... Uh, I don't, just do you too get many points for killing those guys? Uh, no. I think it's just bonus points. I think so, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. I mean, it's, not, it's not bad. I don't know if you can get 100%. That's, I'm sure you can, but it... Oh my god, that was lucky. <laughs> but it's really hard. Does it keep track of whether you played the game in two-player mode when you get a high score? Oh, I don't God, know. it's the turning off. I don't think it could. At least the snake doesn't turn them off. Oh, God. The green guys do. I just want to finish it. The green guys are... Okay. The worst. Oh! It's in mad mode. It it's moves! Mad mode. It makes me mad. Especially when I'm not playing properly. Oh god. Really? Really? Yes. Oh, that just com Oh. What? I thought it's No, that was the guy who it's he was the lightning one that turns your direction that you go wrong. Oh, there's a different guy that Yeah, there's oh. the guy there's a guy that freezes it. And so he slows you down if you touch it. Yep. There's a guy that, that, like, freezes it such that it won't change. And there's a guy that when you jump oh, on his spot, okay. it changes the direction you go. When you press it. It takes, like, the problems with joystick and makes you laugh about the old <laughs> days where you thought you had problems with the joysticks. It warped me to death! But it warped you to where the guy was jumping, which it's was death. Still, yeah. So the thing with this one is they say do the corners first. Sure. Just yeah. head to the corner. Oh, okay. And then worry about the top parts. Mm. Because you can do them without... I think you need to, like... Stupidity. Think through those... That jumping thing... But yeah, you you have like the dex dexterity and skills, so you're 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 uh, brute forcing it. But I yeah, think yeah. You, there's a better strategy. Oh, uh, for sure. Oh god, and I think that's it. Nope. Must have gotten some extra keywords. Or oh, what's the name of this character? <laughs> ah, now it's game over. Boom. Oh. 
Let's put in a score. Ciao. He won't remember. It doesn't say your no. score here. Does it normally say your score? Oh, it doesn't. There's not enough room. I guess there's a line there. Could put the score. Just stop it. Just says nice score. I think it maybe says the score. So it says pH. Will it say two player? No. Easy, mad. Excellent. Hey, Crossbow, have you tried cartridge modding Flashback 2? I see a lot of people doing that. It's a very interesting. Um, okay, so that was Ruby Q for the 2600. Oh, Darcy's leaving. Um, an excellent, excellent Newport. Newport? For your Atari 2600 system. Um, he is going to be releasing a demo of this version. I'm not sure how it's going to be limited. Um, his last one was limited to the first two levels, repeating over and over, so that might be the limitation that he's going to implement again. Oh, you've got something. Is this for the show, or just in general? It's a DVD. The only relevance to this for the show is that this is, like, the least James-like way to transfer data. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you bring it on a DVD? Data? No, it's not data. Oh. It's uh, those movies that I was talking about. <laughs> Which movies? Plunkett McLean and... Oh, okay. Ravenous. Oh, that's fine. If you had them on um, DVD. They're, they're kind of dirty. <laughs> Filthy. <laughs> I'm going to filth up my laser. <laughs> filth up my that laser. Happen. Um, yeah, so watch out for this game in the uh, forums for download a demo version so you can experience some of it <coughs> uh oh 911 i'm fine i'm just dying <coughs> i'm trying to breathe coffee <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't evolved to breathing coffee this is looking awesome it was nice to get a sneak peek yes and thank you to silvio magno for making this incredible incredible game mm. uh it's a lot of fun. If you like Qbert, you're going to love this. Um, if you're, you know, a casual fan of Qbert, it's really, really good. Yep, pink ball, snake, snake. red ball, red ball, plonky, plonky. Green, green ball, ball. LP. LP. Gobbly. Gobbly. I see. see. Sarmi. And who's that? Second player? His no. name is Ober. Ober. It does not talk about Ober here. I think that's the second player. Because it was just the same Qbert looking it's guy. color, though. No, the second player's yellow. Was he yellow? Yeah, you were playing yellow the whole time. <laughs> yes, I knew that. <laughs> yeah, that's second player. Oh. It doesn't actually uh, list his name here in his, the instructions. Let's see him again. Let's see if I'm colorblind. <laughs> I see. Star me. He's yellow. Oiber. Oiber? Yeah. Or Qbert. Maybe it's Qbert. Maybe. Koiber? It doesn't look quite like an O. It has an extra dot in the corner. Could be, could be Kuber. Uh, RC70 says it did say nice score, player two. Kyber. Kyber? Kuber. Q-Y-B-U-R. Let's see what it says again. I mean, it's a very compact three across, five up. It's a Y, yeah. Q -Y. No, it's a Q. Yeah, Definitely. that's a Q. It's got yeah. a little dot in the corner. Yeah. I like that font. It's very, uh, very compact. It's Ruby Q backwards. Oh, you got it. I suppose. Nice. nice. Very nice. smart. Yeah. Yeah. You get a sticker. It's a little shiny uh, silver star. Yeah. Just for you can find it out. at your nearest Staples. Yep. They got hundreds. They got of them. them there. Just pick one out. Just one out. That's yours. Pay for it, <laughs> um, and it's yours. Uh, so. Coming up on the show, we may, uh, it might be an 8-bit show next. It might be, I'm, pr I'm probably going to save uh, Bonk for when you come back, because Tanya freaks out if we have to play Qbert. <laughs> like, literally, she hates it. Doesn't she turn it sideways? She cannot handle it. She just dies. She can't handle the 45. She just, it doesn't, under it doesn't make sense in her brain. I'm so proud that I'm... I'm, I'm better at one thing <laughs> yeah. than some of us. <laughs> some of us. Um, so we're going to play Bonk, which is... There's some spam that needs to be... Oh, you just hover over their name? Hover. Click their name? No, no, no. 
Hang on, it's being silly. <laughs> they can't see the joke. Oh no, you have to click it. Click their name. No, not right click. And then ban with the sub. Then don't give them a sub. <laughs> ban them, yeah. There you go. Oh my god. Yay! Banned. Ban hammer. Oh, X that out. That's too much noise. That was my first banning. Moderator? Yes. That's... And you did an adequate job. Uh, an adequate job. <laughs> uh, so probably in two weeks, we're going to do a 7800 day where we're going to play Bonk, which is a 7800 port of Qbert. No, don't ban me. <laughs> oh, you might have. A star for Darcy too. Uh, a bronze. <laughs> a bronze. <laughs> yeah, so it doesn't get salty and rusty. <laughs> um, but we'll probably do an 8-bit day on Tuesday. Unless a 2600 game comes up or a 7800 game comes up that's uh, new and fresh and awesome. Um, and in two weeks we're going to be playing Bonk. Maybe Plum Luck. I know that the developer is now working on an updated version. So I'll be talking with them about that, see if they want to wait that long or if they want to, if they're going to be ready a little bit earlier. Um, maybe we'll do work in progress 7800 games day part one. Uh, maybe do some favorite shooters part two. That might be a fun one to do. Um, oh. What I found is that the 5200 version of Mule is a four-player joystick game. Ooh. And the and 5200 has four ports, uh, the four-port version of it. So when I get my 5200 upgraded, mm -hmm. we will have a four-player Mule Day. That sounds awesome. Yes, and it's a pretty good version of it, so... Do we know how it deals with the uh We'll find the out. <laughs> I bet it's player one priority. Because that was a problem because that was a problem not just for picking plots of land, but it was also for when you were buying and selling, you're both rushing, running yes. up to and then the one person goes Because everybody, everybody starts at the same some, time. One person they all, gets screwed. They yeah. all run at the same time and it and the program goes, Did uh player one want to sell? Oh, he does? Okay. okay player, player one can one. sell everything. Yeah. Or, or more importantly, buy everything, because say if you're everybody's starving, player one buys all the food, everyone will continue to starve, and have terrible output, and player one just rushes ahead, and then sells the food later. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever when the price goes up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, any uh, just one game today because it was a very big game that I wanted to play a lot of. And it was a uh, exclusive debut, so I wanted to do an awesome uh, uh, version of it. And we did a one game day the other day, Robot Z, which was awesome as well. A platformer that was uh, very much like Mega Man. It was awesome. But I wanted to get dedicated enough time. And realistically, we're an hour and 48 minutes into the show. It took enough time. Um, any secret project you'll be debuting? Not to my knowledge right now. Uh, usually, I've only done secret projects for Champ Games and CD-W. Um, if they have one coming up, maybe. Um, Star Production. Uh, report actually worked. We wanted to... What? <laughs> what? I think this is about the ban hammer. Oh, report actually worked. We wanted to let you know that we have reviewed your safety report <laughs> and determined that a violation of the terms and or community... Trust wants first. to know about your game. Oh, my game. I've actually changed my mind, possibly, depending how hard the game is to make. It is going to be another game that I'm going to make, and I figured out a way to do it quite, quite decently, and it's going to be a super fun game because it's one of my favorite parts of a game that I've ever played. And it's one level of one game from a Commodore 64 game, of course, again. Uh, my game is going uh, glacially slow. Uh, I think about it now and then. <laughs> but I haven't put any time into it, which I really should. Uh, it's not going slow. Uh, glacially slow means constant, steady motion. And what you're describing I think is about it. Stop. No, no. No motion. Part of programming is thinking and evaluating how you're going to make a game. 
And, <laughs> um, right. but, but I've came up with an idea for my at least second or first game. It's super fun. It's relatively easy to make, but Quote, also quotes, impressive. Wait, someone write this down. <laughs> relatively easy. It's super fun. Super we fun. We will hold you to that, sir. It better for be me. super fun. Super fun for me, <laughs> at least. Mm. Let me get that off the screen, actually. We're done with Bonk. Not Bonk. Ruby Q. Bonk's the 7800 version. Um, yes, you can hold me to it, that I will have fun playing my own game. <laughs> um, what was the original game idea? I don't want to give it away, actually. Um, just yet. But I will, once I have basics going, then I'll probably reveal the second one that I just thought of uh, about a week ago because um, I will need help on it. Um, basically planning out the screen and doing the timings. Um, but I think I, I can do most of it. I get paid to program and think way more than I type. It, yeah, exactly. You have to think. I know that. Reported that spammer, then got that email. Oh, you reported them. Oh, very cool. Reviewed your safety report. That's a very strange way of phrasing it. Did you, were you in fear of your safety? Is that what happened? Is that what you reported? Well, it thank could you, be. Dan. It could be because it may have had links. True. If you have a link, that's a safety issue. Because you could true. accidentally um, I could take get your credit card stolen. Credit you'd card end up stolen. sending them nude pics of your butt, <laughs> like down the road. You don't know what's going to happen when you click true. on a link. Anything could happen. It could. Five lines of code per day is a fine average. Really? That seems low. I mean, if you constantly do it, yes, that's that would get a game done. Um, as opposed to the zero, writing, zero that I'm doing right When now. I was writing my books, my original word count was, if I did three, I, I had to write 300 words per day. That's that's in, not very much. Is that a page? No. Two pages? <laughs> it's not even a page. Oh, where near a page. Oh, really? I don't think so. Oh, five lines in a 10 liner is 50%? I don't down? know if it's, I don't think it's, a, maybe it's a page. Maybe, I don't know what it is. It's, I would say it's, it's not that much. It's not too much. Let's say um, eight. But I had a I, I had an intentionally low goal. I had to write three hundred words. It's enough that like right. to write three hundred words, you have to sit there and like write some stuff. And you then have if, to once do you it. get writing some stuff, there's a good chance you might continue writing stuff. Right, because you weren't. If it's a struggle though, you weren't. If it's a struggle, you will stop at three hundred. Oh yeah, you're like fuck this. Yeah, I'm yeah. done. For but the day. like if you yeah, there's a chance that you'll go more. Yeah, because if you're doing well, you're not going to go, oh, I have to stop at 300. That's that's it. Oh, 299, 300, it's in the middle of the sentence. Stop. If you don't put line breaks <laughs> in your code, then you can finish your game in one line. <laughs> Thinking. Oh, look at that. Haha, <laughs> think. 250 words is a standard double-spaced typewritten yeah. page. That's so what that's, I was thinking. That's, that's what I was thinking. 300 words might be... It might count as a, a page and depending on how you coming up with mini task complete is a big project is helps with motivation. Now, that's true. Like I want to get displaying the character on the screen. I want to move the character on the screen. I want to have that character interact with another, another thing. I want to get 10 points if he touches this now and, and move up and up that way. Yeah. I should really get back into doing the programming. Uh, Cause it's very, very rewarding. It's, it's really awesome because it's like something that you can interact with and you've, you've made something that, you, especially if you're a first-time programmer, on the 2600. I've written lots of, lots of code, but I've never written a 2600 game before. And that's like um, definitely a goal. Well, lots and lots of 2600 games would be a goal. I always work by to-do lists. That's, that's smart. Like having... This step, this step, this step. Yeah. See, they're all trying to get me to program. <laughs> yeah, when I was working on my is dungeon game game. <laughs> yes. I had to have a list of what to do. Yeah, yeah. But it wasn't it wasn't complete. I didn't like I didn't like finish the game in a to do list. I just to do listed what I Yeah. Uh and because you, I didn't actually got... know where it was gonna go. And you got pretty far in it. Like it was, it was a completely playable game, right? Was there a goal, or was it just? 
don't die. <laughs> don't die. Yeah, it was just don't die. Yeah. Yeah. There are games that are were less complex, I guess, but it, yeah. it wasn't like balanced or anything like that. If you can accomplish anything useful in five lines of assembly, that would be impressive work day. Yeah, that's why I was saying five lines of 6502 assembly is you don't get a lot happening in that. You get like, I moved on a, a value from one space to another Although space. Although what he said was five lines of code per day is a fine average he didn't say he does average. five lines per day so oh, like, like 10 he does zero. lots of five lines of code is a bit more than five lines of this oh code code he doesn't necessarily mean code and assembly are the same thing okay mm. uh there's something i have to buy at two o'clock so we have to wrap it up uh right now because <laughs> it comes out at two and i don't want to miss it it's one of those things that you just you just gotta know numbers you gotta know where you stand on the priorities exactly beneath buying something at you two. guys got two hours <laughs> um so thanks for tuning in uh thrust uh carl g rc 7 e alan the fur the d train a cardboard box Batoko zer no what did he say v v toko v toko v toko v toko Azure, uh, RC70, uh, Charles Whelan, Iceposta, Crossbow, Sausage Toes, Bratwurst Sausage, Sausage, two in a row. Too many sausages. <laughs> uh, who else was chatting? All the, the colors change. It's really annoying. Charles Whelan, got that guy. Metal Lunar. Uh, Silvio Mung Mogno, thank you so much for making this amazing game. Uh, it was so much fun to play. Uh, I haven't played Cubert that much ever in my life. No, I mean, I was always afraid at the arcade because it's like, ah, I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna die. Uh, Pack Rat VG, uh, Dianoid, hey, Dianoid, didn't even see you type that. That's awesome. Oh, and the Game Vampire, welcome. I don't recognize that name. Um, so thanks everybody for tuning in. We'll be back on uh, Tuesday with Tanya at 6 p.m. Uh, it's probably going to be an 8-bit day, or I might be talking about the retro tink if I can get that working okay. Um, but I will post it. And uh, this will be up on YouTube uh, tomorrow. So uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we will see you on Tuesday. Have a good weekend. Bye, Bye, -bye. everyone. Bye-bye.